Hey there, Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Another video for the beginning of 2021 is uh, my modelling exercise. This time looking at the Cartel Dr. Yes chair designed by Philippe Stark. So again modelled in Rhino uh, using herbs. So again I picked this chair both for its aesthetic qualities and the obvious surfacing challenges. Okay, so this is the final result. Um, as with my other chairs, there's four in the set. I had a week each, a week to do each in the lockdown, uh, having the whole family at home, so lots of distractions. And this chair, like the soft egg chair, I chose to model main seat area as a single surface uh, except this time I didn't have to trim back the boundary okay so like the previous chairs I found some online 2d 3d uh, and photographs for references and off those I created some curves well a line some curves and through in those curves I created the main seat surface which in this case is single span and as you can see I've done some manipulation manually with the points and create this rather everything working into this Plain R edge here, lined all the points up, and then basically it's just been a matter of going through through the um, through a process of um, sculpting the CVs. Tried it a few different things, a few different ways to build the surface. As you can see. It's so very much an iterative process. A lot of challenge trying to get this area right, looking right. Okay, and then when I was happy with the surface, uh, it was time to create the thickness. I'll just um, turn a zebra analysis on there. Yeah, so it was a bit of a challenge trying to get sort of some curvature through here and then getting up into this line along the edge, line, line, and then a very fluid curve on the front and getting the waterfall edge on the front looking right. So lots of CV tweaking. Okay. Next up, this is... um. Quite a distinct feature of the chair is the leg hole for stacking, so I need to make sure everything lined up. So I projected that onto the surface and then I further had to tweak the CVs to get a good form, you know, from the projected curve. Kind of reverse engineering. Making this for the first time, you wouldn't have this issue. Okay. And creating the offset and adding the edge thickness. Now for the challenge of adding the, the leg blends in. Uh, the rear one was fairly straightforward. Just some blend surfaces which I then went and removed um, extra knots and uh, did a bit of manual tweaking on the um, CVs. Trying different versions of it. Okay, front leg. Bit of a challenge with the front leg with this fairly abrupt um, curvature change. 
it's got a fairly heavy surface underneath there. No doubt could have done it cleaner, but by sort of time constraints as part of this project. Part of my exercise. Okay. So this is the finished main form. Add fillets and mirror across the main form. Let's go back one on um Okay, so if I tried to do this out of a multi-patch surface, um, multiple patches to do this area, I wouldn't have been able to get it quite as smooth as I had. And seeing as the form blows through, it made sense to make it out of a single surface. This chair has a very heavy texture change between the underside and the top surface, so the front waterfall edge here is quite pronounced it's the back okay so I've just got some renderings of this we can flick through quickly so the underside the B surface of this chair is polished the A surface as I'm calling it the front is heavily textured uh, maybe not quite as heavily textured as I have it on the rendering, but hard to tell from photographs online. But you can see that waterfall edge with a very distinctive um, change between the, the gloss and or the polish and the um, texture. Right, so that's the uh, Cartel Dr. S chair, Philip Stark, modelling exercise, Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Thank you, see ya.